if like me, you own a Nikon camera and you like using Snapbridge, then you will be one of the, I would like to think, probably millions of people out there who have had nothing but problems with that software, firmware, or what you want to call it, but the garbage that they call Snapbridge. A Snapbridge should be a seamless way of taking your camera, taking a photo, and then it just downloads right there as you've took the photo and right onto your phone. And when it works, it really is a good system. So I've had it working, and I thought, I'm going to do a video on it. And guess what? It stopped working. <laughs> so I have spent hours today trying to figure out how on my iPhone is what I use it for normally, right? But I've also got my old Note 9 that I've dug out. And as you can see, I put Snapbridge onto that. Okay. And I've also dug out my Note 10, right? And the reason I've done that is I put Snapbridge onto that, but this one isn't linked to, to the camera yet. So, for the start of this video, right, I'm going to show you how to fix and repair, well, maybe no fix and repair your problems as such, but how to get uh, a better friendship and bond, shall we say, with Snapbridge, either on Android or on iOS. So, first thing I would suggest you do is, if you're having multiple problems, uh, it's pointless trying to fix it. It really is, okay? So, what you need to do is, go into your phone and totally remove Snapbridge. Go onto your camera and remove all the Snapbridge settings. So you've got the Bluetooth connections to, to your phone, etc. All right? Clear them all, so it's like a fresh start, right? Don't delete the pictures off your your SIM card. You need to keep them there, okay? So let's go through the setup now on putting Snapbridge onto there and how to pair it with a phone. Okay, so here we go. We've got a fresh screen, and I'll just bring up here. Okay. So we'll open up Snapbridge. Now, I've got this sitting here just now so that you can see it because, uh, well, <laughs> I've been using that much at the day that I've actually flattened the battery. So, here it says, connect to the camera. Now, bearing in mind this is a fresh install, okay? So, connect to the camera, and then you pick, well, I've got the cool picks 950, right? And I will allow Snapbridge to access while I'm using the app. Okay, now I need at this point now to switch it on, so I'll actually have to pull the power up. Okay, and what I'll do is I'll put the power on. There we go. And then you go down to your menu and over to connect to a smart device. Okay, so immediately it's short way out there. So hit the P9450 to connect to the camera. Now this is where I was getting a lot of problems. So check that you don't have RAW selected on your camera. Because this was one of the reasons that uh, I was away of have a wee play about with raw footage and there you go so let's pick it up code of 160822 match in there and that's it so press the ok button on the camera so it's establishing a connection as you can see over here on the camera side now your camera and your smart device are now connected and there you go so the pairing is now complete okay so the next stage I now need to go and do is to get my data from the camera onto here. You hit that on, oh yeah, to clear a couple of wee stupid things first. It's like a tutorial, right? So, so you go to your auto link, 
all right, and you hit, you put that to on, okay. Now the location data, I've always I've put that on as well because I want the location data. It's up to you if you want to do it or not. But I just am quite happy to have it at medium, okay, and that does me. And there you are. Now, so in the next dialogue cell, it tells you select allow, okay. So now you'll see that I have got, when you hit the one at the top here, the other one here is the cloud, I never use the cloud, but, so you've got camera there, and you've got your phone there, so there's no pictures, so you just go to download pictures, and this is where I was getting the problems, because I wasn't on RAW, okay, so, it's now searching for a, my device, and you can see, just keep your eyes on the wee yellow ring here, but it does say that this can take a while to pop through, but it shouldn't really take that long. Okay, so there you go. It's got my my P950. So it's now connecting to the device. Now, as quick as that, right? That's everything that's on that SIM card. And these shots here are the ones that I just took lately. Okay. So, and you'll see here on the screen, right, the photo shot of the moon. That is that one there. Okay, so, oh. so if I hit it there, you see how small it is. Now, although I can, I can make it larger on the phone, um, the fact is that I'm able to just download it right on the PC, and now I can manipulate it on here. Okay, so... I like to I like to do my final stuff on the larger screen. It's easier to see. But the main point is is now that we'll have SnapBridge on my phone and on the working. And if I just I'll turn it in there just so I get a, a photo shot of the microphone, for instance. And there you go. So there's the picture there. It's took. It's just took a picture there of the the microphone. Now to bring that in. You just come back out it again and go on to download your pictures. And there it is there. Now, if I take that image there and download it, okay, and download it into the original format, okay, and I now go to the pictures, which is the, the gallery, sorry, okay, not now, and there you go, and there it is there. So I can now send it. Uh, this was a <laughs> uh, Bluetooth, that was it. I was trying to figure out how I'd done this the last time to get that over. I'm used to, it's it's a Mac Mini I use, and there it is there, Ian's Mac Mini, okay. So it's my Mac Mini that I use, but there you go, this is an old Android device. So it, the software that the both, even Apple's actually upped their game on this because trying to put someone for Android over was an absolute nightmare, right? So, uh, the, the only thing I found is, look how slow this is, transferring. Now, if I was to use my iPhone that you're seeing over here on the right hand side, right? If I was to use that phone to transfer it, the difference in time is just bang, it's that quick because they've got their, their Apple AirPlay or AirShare or whatever it's called, you know now what it is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plug this back in again, just for because I, I really didn't need this just now until I show you the picture yeah well I don't suppose you should wait 30 or seconds so I'll, be, I'll come back when it's downloaded ok, so we're back and it's now actually um, it's put it, it's given me the photo here. So I'll now come back and I've got to look for, and there it is there actually, DSCN4290. So I'll just double click that and open it up. And there you go. That was the photo that I've just taken for the phone here, right? So there it is there, look. And that's it. And and again, I can I can mess around with it on here now and play about with it for a. If I want to go into Zoom, for instance, um, I, can, I can zoom into it. 
you know, just the usual messing around. So, but it doesn't stop there, because really, although I'm not using this phone, I'm just playing about with this phone, okay? I now want to do it to over here onto my iPhone. And this is where the problems all start, unless you do that. So, opening up my iPhone now, okay, um, and I've got the snap bridge on that, and you'll see there, okay, download the pictures, so I've only got the, the photos of the moon that I took earlier, and, well, there's the photo there of my, my 3D printer, all right? But if I go to download pictures, okay, this isn't going to connect because it's asking to connect to the camera on the Wi-Fi, which is actually we've used on here to connect to this, okay? So, how do I get around that? Well, come to your memory here, switch your camera on, okay? That will lead you to the road. Right, so if you come here to the memory and skip back down to where the Bluetooth setting is, so that was that icon there, right, and then come down to Bluetooth, push that and go appear devices. Now you'll see that I've got my Android device and my iPhone device, but I've also got a third Android device as well, which is this one, the Note 9, all right? So, but I'm wanting to go to the iPhone, so if I go to the iPhone, right, and now go to that and download the pictures, that's telling us, um, this might not work because my camera battery is getting low. So it's now connecting to the camera. And there you go. There is the photo now on everything. So, it just shows you they've upped the game. So you probably got, if you're still having problems, the old snap bridge in your phone. So go and stick the new one in. So there you have it. That's me got my snap bridge working flawlessly on an Android device and an iOS device and I'm able to upload the photos, which I'm using a Mac OS here, but if you're using Windows, there's no reason why you can't do the same. So, if you have been having problems with Snap Bridge, download the new one, and hopefully you'll see how flawlessly it goes. Thanks for taking the time to watch. I'll see you in the next one.